In this video, we're going to start looking at a new type of equation to solve. And the type of equation that we're going to start looking at are exponential equations. Um, exponential equations are going to be things, for example, of this form, um, where the variable is actually located up at the exponent level. And up to this point, we really don't have a way to try to get that x by itself. It's not on the main level, so we don't really have a, fun a, a way that we can undo things. Uh, the way so anytime that you see a, a equation where the x is in the variable, we need to do something special to bring it down to the main level where we can actually look at and work with it. Um, in mathematics, what we have defined is we've defined a very specific type of new function called a logarithm. And a logarithm is a way that we can talk about what the exponent is. So a logarithm, is, we, we use this type of notation. We have log. Notice that this here is a base. That corresponds with the base of your exponent. So here, if we have a log with a new base in it of a number, it's equal to what the exponent power was here. So um, as we look at these two expressions here, they're equivalent forms of each other, but something that's really important is that notice here where we had a value that was in the variable or a value that was in the exponent position. Over here, that same value ends up being alone and on one side of the equal sign. So using a logarithm allows us to bring a, something that was in the power down to the main level to work with and talk about it. Uh, in this first section here, what I'd like you to do is to start getting comfortable and going back and forth between these two equivalent forms, what we call the exponential form and the logarithmic form of an equation. Um, by the end of the day, we'll be using uh, this going back and forth between forms in order to help us to solve equations, which is uh, one of the big things that we like to do in algebra. Okay, so here, let's take a look at problem number one. Here what I have is I have an exponential expression, so something with an exponent in it as part of an equation. And we want to change this to logarithmic form. So all we're doing is just rewriting the problem in a different way. Because we want to rewrite it with logarithms, we're going to start by, of course, writing a log. Now, as a subscript, kind of on this lower level here, we write what the base of our exponential expression is. And remember, the base is the bottom number here of the power. So in this case, I'm going to start with log base 6. Now, the reason we do logarithms is we want the exponent to be by itself. So once you've identified what the base is, you want to zip over here to get what the number part is on the other side. So you'd have log base 6 of 36 equals, and then we are able to drop that exponent and put it down on the main level. So here, 6 to the second equals 36 is equivalent to log base 6 of 36 equal to 2. The exponent went from here to the main level. The base of my value is now the base of my logarithm, and then the other number goes in this position here in my function. So exponential and logarithmic functions are, are inverse types of functions of each other, and we use one form or the other form in order to rewrite our equation in a different way. Um, here, just some more practice. If we have an exponential expression, again, remember, we always start with log. The base of our log, which is the subscript, is the base of my exponential expression part here. Then we zig over to the other side of the equal sign to pick up what it's equal to, and the exponent, in this case the negative 2, is what should be by itself. For this last problem here, we have log. My base is 9, because that's the, ba the base of the exponent part. Take the place of what was over here, so in this case log base 9 of 3 is equal to whatever my exponent power was, in this case y. So we can go back and forth between these types of equation, equation forms. Um, we can also go the other way. So for example, if we have a logarithmic equation, we can write it in exponential form. Being comfortable and going back and forth between the two makes it so you can estimate values, you can have an idea of what's going on. And sometimes we do have uh, logarithmic types of equations. Um, decibel measures for sound, earthquake measurements, there are actually several types of things that use logarithmic scales. So sometimes you have to solve logarithmic equations as well. If we have a logarithmic equation, remember that the base or subscript value is the bottom value of my expression. The number on the other side is the power, because the logarithm is always asking what power would I need to get this to work. And then it should be equal to the number that we have um, at that main level in our logarithm 
And here you see we get 3 to the third power equals 27, which actually makes perfect sense here. And we can uh, go back and forth between these two forms. For this next one, same idea here. I have a logarithmic equation. I'd like to switch it to exponential form. Always start with the base, which is the bottom number in your logarithm. Grab the exponent, which is alone on the other side of the equation, and then zig back to pick up what that's equal to. So we kind of go back and forth and back um, when we're filling in our equations. For example here, uh, 6 here, we have log base 2 of x equals negative 3. So start with the base of uh, there with the logarithm, so in this case 2. Go over to the other side of the equal sign to pick up the exponent. And then we're going to write equals what that other main value was inside of our logarithm. So in this case 2 to the negative third is equal to x. And notice by rewriting it in this form, here there was an x inside my variable, and now I've been able to, or inside my logarithm function, and here I've been able to get it out of a logarithmic function by switching it to exponential form. So that's kind of the power and the reason behind why we do all of these things. Um, all right, so in the next couple of problems, now that we can kind of get a little bit comfortable in going back and forth between the forms, in the uh, next couple of videos we'll look at how to use that to determine what values are, how to find values of logarithms on our calculator, and then, of course, how to solve equations using uh, exponential equations and logarithmic equations using other.